in other places you can actually talk, interact with people, yeah, ask it's kind of me, me and him kind of, like, I know I had one guy, he like, you know, he, 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 he was on the other side of the fence. He, he called me on and he, we had a group of discussion yeah. with the guy over there, we were talking to, all, you know, it was like, I actually really wanted to like, talk. So what's your See? name, man? What's your name? Simon. Simon, I'm Kevin. So, you were just walking by? Jesus told me to 
sure get close to Hail Fire. In a church, you're trouble with the God of the Bible. Abraham, in the Bible, God spoke to Abraham. Abraham had a brother-in-law. Uh, his name was Lot that went to Sodom and Gomorrah. And God told Abraham that God, God said, I'm going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. There's no wealthy people in Sodom and Gomorrah. But Abraham said, this is what Abraham said, well, you can't destroy the wicked uh, with the righteous. You know, it's the reason why God had destroyed this place today. Because we got eight preachers over here of righteousness, and that's preventing you from being destroyed right now. So you need to wake up, Sinner Church. Yes, you're, you're failing your test today, Sinner Church. Hey, that's what you stand with from Sinner Church. Satan loves you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing, Sinner Church. Well, let's continue on our message today about Sinner Church. Sinner Church had Abraham that loved uh, the people of Sodom. Didn't want them to be destroyed. And he says, uh, he says, God, if there be 50 righteous in Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, let's get an idea how big Sodom and Gomorrah was. Back in the Bible days, in that time, there was millions probably between two, two large cities and there were a bunch of small cities. There were several, many large people. So we see here, but God looked over Sodom and Gomorrah and he couldn't find 100 righteous. God says, I'm going to destroy the sinner church. He's going to destroy Sodom. That's your history lesson there. Look out. So Abraham says, oh, well, what if there's, let's go bring the story down. Abraham went to God several times. Finally got down to 10 people. 10 righteous people and all those millions of people around Sodom and Gomorrah. Guess what? God couldn't find 10 righteous people in Sodom and Gomorrah. I wonder what you're going to do one day when there's no street preachers coming around to preach to you. You're getting few in number. That's, that's your warning, Sinner Church. When you don't see the street preachers out here, God is going to be not far from being finished with you. But you better repent. Tell them how to get in the real Tell them how to get in the real so you need to wake up. So sinner friend, what does God do about Sodom and Gomorrah? What does God, what does God do with his trash? What does God do with the trash of the universe? So what did God do? God sent an angel. God sent an angel to Sodom and Gomorrah. The land of the people that God uh, reached out to was his people. What did God do? God took out his people. Well, when God takes out his people in this country, in this world, not long after that, you better hunker down, friend. You better get ready. Because God is going to rain on you. Now, God rained on you prayed this morning. That's a pre-warning, I believe. God brought thunderstorms to rain on you. God is giving you a warning today. The only reason why it's beautiful right now is because God is allowing his preachers to be out here to preach to you today. Without us, without us preaching the truth in Jesus Christ, you have no hope. That's right. No real hope. Uh, here, no real hope. So Peter Church, here's, here's what happened when God took all those people out. When God took his people out, down came some rain. What kind of rain was it, sinners? What kind of rain did God finally pour down on Sodom and Gomorrah? What kind was it? He rained on Sodom and Gomorrah fire and brimstone. Sinner church, when you reject Jesus, your only hope what you got to look forward to. Fire and brimstone. If you'll notice all those little drops of water that hit on you, they, they didn't hurt too bad, they didn't feel too bad. Kind of felt good a little bit. But how's he going to feel when God pours, uh, pours fire on you? Sinner church, you need to repent. You need to repent. Now what happens to sinner 
church when they uh, uh, stand before God in judgment. When they come before God in judgment, what about the sinner church? They get cast into the lake of fire. In the day of Jesus, when He judges, the Bible says it's appointed that the man wants to die. You're gonna die, sinners. You need to repent, sinners. You need to get right with Jesus, sinners. Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said, except you repent, you're going to perish. You're going to perish in hell. All you long milk women, you're going to perish in hell. All you hateful sinners out here today that are hating our world, you're going to go to hell. You need to learn to love like Jesus did. Jesus hated everybody, but he loved them. He said to repent or perish. That's the love of Jesus. Jesus is so loving, he told the Pharisees to repent. Jesus was so loving, he told the woman that committed adultery, go and sin no more. If Jesus were here today, he would look you homosexuals in the eyes, you sinner church, and he'd say, except you repent, you'll perish. Jesus told that woman that was caught in the very act of adultery, he said, go and sin no more. But you know what the sinner church does? They say, go and sin some more. They got it backwards. You see, sinner church is really the church of the devil. Stop being in the church of the devil. Now, now we're going to the second phase of my sermon here. Now we're going to say, sir, sir, that cross is not going to be you no know, good sticking a bull finger up at me. Nice piece of metal. Don't go to hell, sir. Nice piece of metal. Your idolatry abounds. So, sinner church, here's the second part of my sermon. Now. I guess that's supposed to be some sort of a trump card. Right. If I have to buy this five pencil. Now, the state of God. Oh, only a real Christian can put those on, right? How do you get the redemption of God? Are you come uh, boldly to the throne of grace in time of need? See the church? You have a time of need. Are your need is now. Your sin is going to be a Don't pull the cross necklace out like it's a trump card. Like, oh, you, you must be a God can forgive you your sin, but yeah. you'll have to repent. Oh, God is a filter of open hearts by heart. Some people are. Godly sorrow repent his true salvation. As far as the world will work there. That means you need to have a change of mind who you think you are before God. The new church is going to cross. You know what repentance is? Bring yourself into union with God. You need to see yourself in the church of Satan. When I was a lost sinner, you know what I did? It set up to like a Catholic. I first thought I was a good old boy. I was going to say that. Oh, I'm a good old boy. That's the new Satan. Sinners have a bad habit. I you know what I did? Yeah. I, I heard the preaching of the Word of God. I heard about this man Jesus. Unless you fall in love with this man called Jesus, you're going to perish. Unless you fall in love with this man called Jesus, you're going to perish. Most of you don't even love yourself. Did you know that the greatest number of suicides are committed by transgenders? We love you. We don't want you to kill yourself. Transgenders kill themselves in the Netherlands. There's practically no preachers like me in the Netherlands. The Netherlands had the same suicide rates among transgenders in the, in the country of Netherlands as they do in the United States. So don't blame it on Christians. Don't blame it on preachers. They got a sick mind. They need some help. And we need to explain to them the truth. We need to explain to you the truth. All right, Sinner Church. Sinner Church, the Bible says that you're an abomination. I wouldn't be cheering for that. I wouldn't be cheering to be called an abomination. It's going to be a sad, bad day for homosexuals or on judgment day. It's going to be a bad day for the wicked. Um, and, and we got two years of time to here. 
Watch out for the mouth diseases. Watch out for the herpes of the mouth. Yeah. Oh, be careful. You need to get some left to read. You need to get some left to read to kill those diseases, man. Stop spreading your diseases. The most hateful thing in the world today is a homosexual. Spreading your diseases and infesting people with all kinds of diseases. You're hating your friends. You're hating your neighbors. You need to love your neighbors as yourself. I'm loving my neighbor just like Jesus did. Jesus told all his neighbors to repent. That's what I'm doing. I'm telling every one of my neighbors to repent. You need to start loving people like Jesus. You sit in church and miss it. Sit in church is going to hell. Believe it? Alright, God bless you. Hope we'll see you out here again. That rich man went to hell. For you may not understand what I'm saying. I make a point. That rich man went to hell. That rich man very well could be one of you people out here. That rich man rejected God. That, hey, you know the reason why that rich man went to hell? Because he did not repent. Matter of fact, that rich man was prideful. He said, I don't need the Lord. I don't need to obey Jesus. That's what, that's what pride people say. That's what pride people do. They don't need Jesus. That's prideful. You need to eat some humble pie. You need to eat some humble pie. You need to get down on the ground with Jesus. You need to put some sackcloth and ashes on. Okay, let's talk about that man that went to hell. You know what that man said to Jesus? In my Jesus told us that rich man said, uh, Jesus said that that rich man, he lifted up his eyes and he was in torment. That rich man was tormented in hellfire. So all your happiness, all your gladness of all your sin, wickedness, and you think it's going to be okay to go to hell? That rich man, that rich man has a different story. That rich man, that rich man even had five brothers that he didn't want to come to. That rich man did want his brothers to come to hell. You know what he said? Send somebody back to the grave to tell my brothers to repent. That rich man in hell has more sins than you do today. And you're on your way to hell. But so what do you need to do? You need to wake up. That rich man is in hell. You know what else that rich man wanted? That rich man wanted one drop of water. One drop of water. You know how hot it is in one day? There's not much water around well, unless you go get you some water. Wait till you get to hell. Wait till you get to hell.